Hey, I'm Zappa. I'm Zero. And today we're checking out BC's craft beer scene. Today we're checking out two local hazy IPAs. We have High Five from Yellow Dog. We have Trash Panda from Parallel 49. Let's see what they got. We're going to be rating these beers on our beerific rating system, which is a 20 point system. 10 points for taste, 5 points for drinkability, 5 points for presentation. First up, we have High Five from Yellow Dog Brewing Company. Uh, it's a hazy IPA, 7% alcohol, 60 IBUs, it's a strong beer. Uh, Yellow Dog Brewing Company, it's a cool brewery in Port Moody. Um, it's on Brewers Row there, it's a cool little joint, it's family owned and operated, so it's pretty cool. We'll check it out. So what does hazy mean? It's not clear. <laughs> Hazy's not clear? Hazy's not clear. It's a cloudy IPA. It's not an American, traditional American style IPA. It's cloudy, it's unfiltered, so essentially. It's still unclear. That is not what I was expecting. Me neither. Wow. I was expecting it to be a lot thicker. Yeah. Uh, and 7%. It's saying coming out as a strong beer. Um, it really doesn't taste like 7% beer. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, yeah, I like it. Like it. Well, I think I like it because I did think I was going to. Yeah. I, I agree. I. I I wasn't too confident with the 60 IBU. What is the IBU? Uh, International Bitterness Units. So <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah, higher IBUs, more bitter uh, in terms of the hops. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I was like, it doesn't taste bitter to me at all, actually. No, it, it, it's a little hoppy. Yeah, like it's got that, it has that hop taste. It's, I, it's a um, IPA, so it's you know it's got that hoppy flavor to it, but um, it's not nearly as strong as I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, so how do you feel on taste? Where would you rank this? Uh, I do like it, um, but I think I would have to give it right in the middle as a five. Right as a five. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I like it. I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's okay. Um, it's not what I was expecting. I was honestly expecting to give it a three Same. or a two or something. So just due it, to. Uh, Really, just the alcohol percentage. I thought it was gonna be a lot more of a strong taste, yeah. and as a strong labeled as a strong beer. Yeah, I thought it would be you know more of that pure alcohol taste. Um, but it actually ended up being much better, so that's why I'm gonna give it a four. Four. I, I was pleasantly surprised by it, so I'm not trying to put it down, but at the same time, it's just not my style, it's normal style beer. Right. Okay. But it definitely impressed me. Okay, for drinkability on this, uh, you know, if you want to drink a bunch of beers to get drunk, it's strong, so it's 7%, so it's going to put you on your ass pretty quick if you drink too many of them. Um, but I don't think I could drink too many of these. Um, it has a good flavor, but it is really, it's a strong flavor. It's a, uh, you know, it really hits you. It, it's got a little, got those like citrusy notes, but it, it's really heavy and it's really not, not heavy as in like a Guinness heavy but heavy as in a um, sort of filling yeah. beer. Yeah, yeah. So I would have to give this drinkability, I would give it a two out of five. Yeah, I think I agree, two is good for me. I would love this on a beer, on a patio, with a burger. With a burger, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'd be good with meats in general. I mean, I don't know what all that means as far as like when people say this is this dinner works well with a red wine, I have no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just know what I like and what I don't like. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So far so good. But I would drink this all the time. Right. Would you bring them to share? To a share concert? I don't think I'd go. <laughs> no, to share with your friends. Do you think? Uh, actually, that's not true. I'd go to share if I was paying. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm a sharer. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't think so because I don't, I don't think I bring these to share because I don't think too many people like them. Really? Why? I think it's sort of a harder beer to like because it does have that strong hoppy flavor. Right. I, I see what you're saying. I have some friends I know would love this beer, and then I have lots that probably would, yeah, wouldn't be their go-to either. Right. My beer snobby friends would love it. <laughs> the beer snobs. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not the biggest fan on the can design. Yeah, uh, I like the color, the purple color. It's kind of cool. It's sort of matte great. finish. Yeah. Um, that's cool. The logo is pretty simple. Um, the packaging is just overall, it's very simple, but it works. It's, I mean, it does, it's just in today's market, I think you need a little more flash. Yeah, yeah, a little more pizzazz. Yeah. Um, exactly. It's really, it's boring, and that's really bottom line. Is it's just, it's boring. Yeah. Uh, the one part I do like though about Yellow Dog Brewing, it just as a general, not this beer in particular, uh, that they name their beers after dog tricks. Oh, which that's is cool. Cool. It sort of ties in their Yellow Dog um, th theme. That is high cool. five. They have, uh, I think they have Shake a Paw and uh, that is cool. Go for a Walk, something like that. Pack Leader. They have a dog themed. Uh, beer names, which is kind of cool. So, so there's probably a good story behind Yellow Dog. Why they? Yeah, we'll get them off of Maybe they can tell us in the comments below, or we can go check it out sometime. Yeah, no, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. I'd still more more flash. Yeah, right. So what, what would you give it? Ah, uh, out of five, one, one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll meet you there. One. Too boring. Yeah. Next up, we have Trash Panda from Parallel Forty Nine. Uh, Parallel 49 is a huge brewery in BC's craft brew scene. Uh, I think they're based in Vancouver. Um, they have big names like Ruby Tears and Jerk Face 9000. I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, and, I've seen them around. Yeah, for sure. You know their logo. Uh, Trash Panda is their hazy IPA. They say it was given uh, huge amounts of uh, dry hopping. It's not perverted to me, but that's okay. <laughs> and they, <laughs> it gives the beer notes of melon, tropical fruits, and pear, so we'll see how that comes through. I'm a pear fan. Alright, let's check it out. I'd say an eight. Eight. I know it's high, and 
it's not it, again it's not up there in my favorite beer it's but, pretty high yeah, I know but I give it with that with full confidence that I will be drinking this more often in my life oh. now okay well I will say for drinkability on me on this one I have to go high again because this one has really won me over right uh, I know I'm one of those more positive people when it comes to beer because I like beer. But uh, all this good. Exactly. Almost. Almost. <laughs> it's a couple of bad ones. Yeah, there is. We'll uh, get to those in the future. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure we will. Uh, but I really like this beer. I definitely see myself drinking it. Drinkability. I've said already. Yeah, drinkability, I would give it a five out of five. Four out of five. Three out of five. I'm going to go four out of five because the only reason I wouldn't give it a five is I don't want to be too positive. <laughs> Okay, but I do really like it. I agree with you. I, I think I'm gonna give my first perfect. Good five out of five. Wow. Uh, drinkability. I think it's. I think anybody can drink it, which is good. Yeah, I agree. You don't have to be a big fan of the complex notes and complex flavors. Um, and yet it could. And yet, if you are somebody, people too, yeah, right? if you are somebody who does enjoy those complex notes, um, you could still enjoy this beer. Absolutely. Uh, and especially for something they call it trash pen, which doesn't have a very appealing name. I think that's that that would have won me over to begin with. Yeah, yeah. the flavor would have topped it right off. It's good, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a five. I have five one really. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Cheers. As far as presentation, uh, Parallel Forty Nine always kills it every time. Uh, they're always creative with their names. Trash Panda. It's you know Vancouver and it's raccoons. It's for the amount of raccoons that we have. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny, they have a little story on here. Uh, the urban trash panda will spend 94% of its life scourging garbage bins for the dankest, juiciest hops. Don't be fooled by this bandit's cute little mask. This snarling vermin won't leave any can unturned. Nice. It's quite funny, they have a good sense of humor when it comes to their beer. Tells a good story. Yeah, with, with the flash of color, uh, the creative logo and the creative name, um, it really stands out. Yeah, the even, even the expression on the pen is far. The raccoon's face is awesome. Yeah, it, it, it's creative. It yeah. really is. It's, it, uh, I think this is what beers need. Uh, it's today's it market, is, especially. Market, I think. Uh, as far as negatives, don't really see too many negatives. There's no IBU rating on it, which uh, doesn't, people like you, you don't care about that. Yeah, IBUs. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I I like when there's IBU on there. I get parallel forty nine. I guess they don't really put their IBUs on any of them, um, which is okay. But uh, you know, I, I like it. I like seeing that information. I'm just an information person. I like a lot of information. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think it's really good. Uh, I don't think it's perfect, but it's definitely uh, up there. And, Top design cans and Parallel 49 always does a great job. Yeah, they definitely do. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it a full five. Uh, I love I love all their cans that I've seen so far. Um, this one in particular. Yeah, I'm a raccoon fan. What can I say? Um, except when they're attacking my kitties. Um, but yeah, no, I love the can. I would buy it because of the can, and then the taste would just solidify it into being uh, regular in my life. It's good. Full five for me. Cool. Okay, that's all we have for today. Uh, if you like what you watch, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.